Hey guys, welcome to Medifaction. Today, let's learn how the coronavirus is tested. In this pandemic period, most of the people would have witnessed the swab test and wondered how they identify whether he or she is corona positive or negative with such a small secretion taken from the body. Well, today we can learn how it's done. So we all know that COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome, coronavirus 2 virus strain. The common symptoms are fever, cough, and even shortness of breath and tiredness. Molecular method that is RT-PCR. The standard method for coronavirus testing is polymerase chain reaction, also known as PCR. To start the test, the sample can be collected by nosopharyngeal or oropharyngeal swab. For nosopharyngeal specimen, the swab is inserted in the nostril and gently moved forward into the nosopharynx and then it is rotated in a specified period of time to collect the secretions that contains the virus. Then the swab is placed immediately into a sterile tube containing a viral transport medium. This is what a PCR machine looks like. Coronavirus contains an extraordinary long single-stranded RNA genome. To detect these viruses with PCR, RNA molecule must be converted into its complementary DNA sequences by reverse transcriptase. Then the newly synthesized DNA can be amplified by standard PCR procedures. To extract the viral RNA, the sample is first added into a micro centrifuge tube. Once lysis buffer is added, the tube is mixed by pulse vortexing and incubated at room temperature. Then the virus is lysed under the high denaturating conditions provided by the lysis buffer. After the lysis, a purification procedure is carried out by a spin column. The sample is loaded onto the spin column and a centrifugation is performed. This makes the RNA molecule to bind to the silica gel membrane at optimal pH conditions leaving the proteins and other contaminants behind. After the centrifugation is done, the spin column is placed into a clean collecting tube and the filtrate is discarded and then wash buffer is added and again the column is kept in centrifuge which removes any remaining impurities. Once the sample is washed, the column is placed in a clean micro centrifuge tube and the elution buffer is added. Then a centrifugation is carried out again which forces the elution buffer through the membrane. This elution buffer removes the viral RNA from the spin column and by this the purified RNA is obtained. Next, the preparation of reaction mixture for PCR amplification is done. In this, a master mix is used which contains pre-mixed concentrated solution that consists of reverse transcriptase, nucleotides, reverse primer, forward primer, Tagman probe, and DNA polymerase. Finally, to complete this reaction mixture, the RNA template is added and the tube is mixed with pulse vortexing. 
Then the reaction mixture is loaded in the PCR plate which generally contains 96 wells allowing the analysis of several samples at the same time. Now the plate is kept in a PCR machine which is essentially a thermocycler. The first step in RT-PCR is reverse transcription. The first strand complementary DNA is primed with PCR reverse primer which hybridizes to a complementary part of the virus RNA genome. The reverse transcriptase then add DNA nucleotides to the 3' prime end of the primer synthesizing DNA complementary to the viral RNA. The temperature and duration depend on the primer RNA and the reverse transcriptase used. Next, an initial denaturation step is applied causing the denaturation of the RNA-DNA hybrids. This step is required for the activation of DNA polymerase and simultaneously the inactivation of reverse transcriptase. PCR consists of series of three steps in each cycles which are denaturation, annealing and extension. First let's see what is denaturation. It consists of heating the chamber up to 95 degrees Celsius used for the denaturation of double stranded DNA template. Next is annealing. In this step, the reaction temperature is lowered to 58 degrees. Next is extension. In this The DNA is performed yielding two single stranded DNA molecules. In the, the double stranded DNA target is obtained. Then the Primeration of this double stranded DNA is performed yielding two single stranded DNA molecules. In the next step, the reaction temperature is lowered, allowing annealing of the primer to each of the single stranded DNA templates. Also, annealing. It exhibits fluorescence when excited by the cyclers light source. On the 3' end, it consists of quencher. When the polymerase reaches the tagman probe, the endogenous 5' nuclease activity cleaves the probe, separating the dye from the quencher. With each cycles of PCR, more dye molecules are released increasing the fluorescence intensity proportional to the amount of amplicant synthesized. This method allows the estimation of the amount of the given sequence present in the sample. The number of double stranded DNA pieces is doubled in each cycle and therefore PCR can be used to analyze extremely small amount of sample. For the measurement of fluorescent signal, we need a tungsten halogen lamp, an excitation filter, mirrors, lens, an emission filter, and a charged coupled device or CCD camera are used. The filtered light from the lamp is reflected off the mirror and it passes through 
a condensing lens and is focused into the center of each well. Then the fluorescent light emitted from the well reflects off the mirrors, passes through an emission filter and is detected by the CCD camera, which is then converted into digital data. Hope you have understood the video. Like, subscribe and press the bell button for more videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching.